What is going on YouTube? I am Baku Sky here with another video and in today's video we are going to be talking about the Lorelei Splendor helmet. This helmet guys. Now the rule I have on it is fantastic. I did get it from the campaign, did legendary difficulty. Of course you get to pick two exotics uh, or one exotic rather from two. And I chose the helmet because I just couldn't pass it up. Now the shader, for the people out there that love the design, the shader I have on it, Gambit shader, Venomous, uh, just play it consistently, you'll eventually rank up and get it. However, today we are going to be talking about the build I have for this. Now obviously I got super lucky and I have double hundreds, I have 100 recovery and 100 intellect. Now you're wondering why my resilience is so low. Trust me guys, your resilience isn't going to matter when you apply this build because it is a simple build that you can put together. If you don't have the mods, you can easily get the mods from A to 1 uh, when they come around. But again, this build is what I would prefer to go with. Now with the helmet, the helmet, I like to keep it solar. With the gauntlets, I went solar as well. And then my legs and chest piece, I went void. And then for the mark, I went, um, I went with stasis, right? So we're going to have explosive wall maker which is going to give you abilities. Um, rapidly defeating combatants with explosive damage, spawns a solar elemental well. For this, I really like to use Gallahorn. It spawns them really fast, or you can use the new grenade launcher that is your in your energy slot. It's an exotic, you can get it from a mission. Uh, the mission is 1550, so if you're underpowered, make sure you have a fire team to go with you. Uh, then we're gonna use Ash as the assets, gain bonus super energy on grenade kills. And then the Well of Ordinance. So with this, picking up a Solar Elemental Well grants you additional grenade energy. So with my grenade uh, ability being so low, uh, you know, unfortunately, that's why I would have to run this. If not, I would run Well of Life. But if you have extra grenade energy and you don't mind the weight, you can switch that out for Well of Life. I recommend that 100% because it does regenerate your health. Um, on our chest piece, we're going to go with Reaping Wellmaker. Activating your class ability, your next weapon final blow on a combatant spawns a Void Elemental Well. This is important because it'll just give you a benefit of knowing you're going to have that extra well to gain that extra uh, ability energy, right? Because that's the whole point of this. Because this build is really revolved around, um, you know, getting your shield back as fast as possible. Now, I have, you know, four or five resilience. But you also have insulation, reduces class ability cooldown each time you pick up an orb of power. Um, one thing that you can pair with this, say you don't want to go with Ash to Assets, right? You can always swap it out for Harmonic Siphon, rapidly, rapid weapon final blows with damage matching your subclass creates an orb of power. This is very useful as well. You can also go with Solar Siphon, rapidly defeating weapons, uh, solar, rapid solar weapon final blows create an orb of power. You can go with this as well. Those are all good options. However, these are just the options that I went with personally. Um, now, the mark. So I'm running double utility with elemental charge, obviously for protective light. But double utility kickstart uh, can stack. Um, it has been confirmed. And of course, when we go into it, you're going to be using the bottom tree because bottom tree is the thing that it goes with. Now, the nade. Nade's your choice, right? You can always choose your nade. Same with the barricades. Um... The Rally Barricade is very good right now. It's all situational. So th those two are, are, are kind of situational, but I find that this build is the best build to keep my resilience. You know, I know that it, it relies on... Um, <clears throat> my apologies. It relies on a, a various of different things. Like if we look at this, let's go to Titan. So at a tier four... Towering Barricade is at 37 seconds, and Rally Barricade is at 29 seconds, right? If you go down to 3, 40 seconds, 32 seconds. So, that's what we're looking at today. And that is exactly why I have so many things feeding in to my utility, because even if I don't have that high resilience, I can still get my barricade back significantly faster. And your HP really doesn't matter, especially like you could take this into day one if you wanted to, because with protective light, you get that extra bump in health. You always have orbs of power no matter what. 
or uh, not orbs of power, my, my apologies, you always have elemental wells to keep refreshing your abilities, and you have that high intellect to give you the best chance at getting your super. Also, killing enemies will get you your super faster as well. And that's pretty much the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.